Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are back again with a new video, which is introduction to Matplotlib library. So we'll understand all the basic features of Matplotlib library. So firstly, we'll see what is Matplotlib. So basically, Matplotlib is a popular Python library used for creating static, interactive and animated visualizations. So basically, it is an open source comprehensive data visualization library that allows you to create a wide range of static, interactive and animated plots. So Matplotlib library was initially developed by John D. Hunter in 2003. And it is now a vital tool in the Python ecosystem for anyone working in data analysis, machine learning or scientific research. So Matplotlib is often used as the foundation for other visualization libraries such as Seaborn and Pandas plotting and is particularly valued for its flexing and customization capabilities. Now we'll see some of the key features of Matplotlib library. So firstly we'll see its versatility. As we know that it supports various plots like line graphs, scatter plots, bar charts, histogram, pie charts, error bars and 3D plots also. And the second key feature is its customization as this provides extensive option to style plots including colors, markers, line styles, fonts and axes. And the next one is integration as it works seamlessly with other Python libraries such as NumPy's, Pandas and SkyPy making it an essential part for the data science stack. And the next is interactive plots as it offers tools to zoom, pan and update plots in real time when using an interactive backend. And the next is exporting capabilities as Matplotlib library enables user to save visualization in multiple formats for example PNG, PDF, SVG etc. Now nextly we'll see the importance of data visualization as data visualization is a powerful tool that transforms raw data into graphical representations making it easier to analyze, interpret and communicate complex information. It plays a vital role in the fields like data science, business analytics, decision making and scientific research. So here are some of the key features and importance of data visualization. Firstly, it simplifies complex data. As raw data sets are often large and complex, making them hard to interpret. So it makes easy to visualize and transform these data sets into graphs, charts and plots, simplifying the analysis process. So it may be easy to understand. And the nextly, it enhances data interpretation. As visual representation help in identifying patterns, trends and relationships that are not obvious in raw data. For example, as a scatter plot can reveal a correlation between two variables such as sales and marketing spend. And the third is that it improves decision making as data visualization enables decision makers to quickly grasp inside and make informed choices. So visual tools like dashboards consolidate key performance indicators for businesses and aiding it in real time decision making. For example, a CEO using a sales dashboard to determine which region to allocate more resources. And the next is highlight trend and patterns. So trends like seasonality, outliers and long term changes are easier to spot using visual tools. For example, a time series graph 
can reveal increasing sales and over months or unexpected dips in revenue. And the next is increased engagement and understanding. So basically, humans process visual information faster than textual data. So visualization makes presentation and reports more engaging and understandable for the diverse audience. For example, in a business meeting, a bar chart showing quarterly profits is far more impactful than a spreadsheet. So data visualization is somehow very important in managing and visualizing the data. Now, nextly we'll see how to install and set up a Matplotlib library in Jupyter Notebook. So, to install the Matplotlib library in Jupyter Notebook, you, we can use the pip command directly from within a notebook cell. So, firstly, we'll open a notebook cell and we'll write a command to install and set up our Matplotlib library. So now I write the command to install matplotlib library. So it is like pip install matplotlib. So I'll write pip install matplotlib. And so this will install the required library. So now we'll understand the basic structure of matplotlib plot. So for this we need to write a code. So for that firstly we need to write import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. So this module provides a MATLAB like interface for creating plots and visualization in Python. Here, PLT, a commonly used alias for matplotlib.pyplot to simplify function calls. So, we'll go ahead. So, the next line create figure and axis. So, in this line, here, plt.subplots, this creates a figure and axis. Here, figure is the outer container for everything in the plot and axis is the actual plotting area where data is drawn. So, the main purpose of this is to initialize a blank canvas figure and a single plot area AX for adding data. Now, for the next line, We'll create a list. And now we'll create one more list for Y. And we'll keep some data in it. So, here x a list representing the data points for the x axis and y a list representing the corresponding data points for the y axis and here these lists provide the data to be plotted on the graph now in the next line we'll plot the data so we'll write the code So in this line, this line creates a line plot use, using x and y as data points and connects the points which are given in the list. And label is equals to line. This assigns the label line to the line. This label is used in the legend to describe the plot. Now we'll add a label to the x axis. So now...
So this line adds a label x axis to the x axis of the plot and helps to describe what the x axis value represent. Now we'll add a label to the y axis. So this adds a label y axis to the y axis of the plot and provides context for the y axis values. Now in the next line we'll add the title for the plot. So this sets the title of the plot to basic plot structure. The title appears above the plot and describe its content. Now we'll add the legend to the plot. So the legend contains the label line which was assigned to the plot earlier using the label line. It helps identifying different elements in the plot. Now in the last line we'll see that how the plot is displayed. So we'll write plt dot show and by this we can check render and displays the plot on the screen. Without this command the plot might not appear. So we'll check this program. So as we can see that the plot has been created for basic plot structure. This is how matplotlib library works. Now we'll see the overview of pyplot and its components. So pyplot is a module or it can be said as a submodule of matplotlib library that provides a simple interface for creating and customizing visualization. Now we'll see the components of pyplot in detail in our next video. So thanks for watching this video.